Farmer Reefer, welcome back to another episode of The Halt. Today we are going to check out the Reef Bot. I picked up the Reef Bot to put on the Hulk. It's going to be testing a lot of the parameters on the Hulk. Uh, I wanted to get it all set up before I end up doing the cycle on the tank. I'd like to test it, to test it for the ammonia, nitrate, nitrate, and send all the information right to my phone without me doing it. We are going to unbox it, see everything that's inside, and just review all the components about it. If you guys would like to pick one of these up as well, you guys uh, you can go right on my website and you guys can get 50 bucks off this unit. This one here is retailing about 850 if you guys wanted to get one, but I can save you guys 50 bucks. You just got to use the code. It is RK Farm Boy Reef and you can get 50 bucks on it. It's on my website at farmboyreefheroes.com uh, on there as well. You guys can get the code if you want to save some money. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. So jumping in here, um, what I like about this, you can wirelessly set it all up. It's on your phone. You can have the app. You get all the information sent to all your devices. And most of all the test kits that are on the market right now, you can put in all the little vials that are in here. We're going to check it out. I picked up uh, three new kits here. I got the sulfur test kits. I got the nitrate, ammonia, and, nit and nitrate uh, kits here. And these are the ones I'm going to just put in here for now. But you can test anything, uh, calcium, alkalinity, all those things. And you can test as many times as you want. But just remember, like these vials are 20 mil vials and alkalinity will probably be the one you're testing mostly daily with the reef bot. You're gonna go through it a lot more, but the other ones you could test, you know, once a week or a couple times a week and you're not gonna go through the, the, the reagent as much. So that's one thing that I've been researching. You can do it as many times as you want, how much money you wanna spend, that's all up to you guys. And uh, I'm pretty excited to try this all out. So let's dive in here. Let's see what comes in the kit, this here, it just comes right in a box. It was really well packaged. And I got a knife here. We're just gonna get this cut open. So this here, this casing is non-corrosive, so, so salt won't damage it at all. It's got an acrylic front. It's pretty awesome. Everything comes packaged inside. You see that? So we got two zip ties. It's holding everything together. I'm just gonna cut these out. There's one. Two. Let's take these out gently because we don't want to damage anything. Get those zip ties out of the way. So you guys see there in there right now, there's that's like the, the running belt arm that moves the robotics arm back and forth. Let's get the rest of these little foam packages out of here. So there's a little bit of assembly we have to do. There's a few other uh, packages in here of foam that we have to get out. So that's everything that's in here. So let's keep opening the, what's good in these packages. So these are probably all the vials that we need to hook up and the power supply. And with this unit as well, what you need to do is you're gonna have to have some RO water. You're gonna have to have a container, a reservoir just for RO water, waste water. So right here is the three hookups. So you're gonna get your, your one uh, RO line that's gonna go to your tank to get the sample water. You're gonna get one for your RODI water, that's what happens is after every test is done, it takes a little bit in, it washes out all the vials, and then that's why you have your waste water to fill up and get rid of that one. So you have all three connections here, tank water, RDO water, and waste water. So you're gonna need those three hookups and just you know put a couple containers underneath uh, your stand and to get rid of it, or just run your waste right to its own uh, source. So let's keep digging here. So this is the power supply. So there's the one power supply. There's a map box. Let's keep digging here. So this must be all the vials and all the little magnets. So every every vial has a little magnet in it for mixing. So let's be careful these little. Yeah, so this is all the vials and the RO line that comes with it and the syringes. So here's a tube. 
So this little tube's for uh, calibrating your system. Let's keep going through here. So here is all the RO line and connections that you're gonna need. And there's an Allen key in here as well. And a couple extra magnets or the spinners for in the, in the vials. Each one comes with one in it, if you can hear it. So they sent extra ones in case, you know, they do break down over time. So we replace all our vials in there. We have all the RO lines, everything you need. They come with the needles that push down into each of the vials for testing. So it comes with a few extra of those. Let's see how many they sent us. So there's three. Let's see what they sent us, how many of each thing. So they sent one, two, three, four, five. Two, four. There's five uh, complete sets with the needle as well. And two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 of the glass vials and a magnet per each. It looks like they have a little pre-filter in here. So the water that you're sucking into your tank, it catches any debris. So that's in there as well. And some zip ties. And it comes with a one page instruction. Um, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download uh, the Reef Kinetics app. It's on the Apple Store or Google Play. Put it on your devices, your iPad, whatever you want. And you're just gonna follow everything that it says to do here. And just hook it all up and do step by step and that's what we're gonna do. We'll end up, let's do this together. Let's uh, both learn what we're doing here. And then uh, we're gonna put the needle in and put all the vials and hopefully start her up and we'll get some testing going on here. So it comes with everything that we need here. That's pretty awesome. So that's a pretty good system and I can't wait to get this hooked up. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do right now, let's go uh, place it in the new fish room and let's try getting this all installed and get it turned on because I really wanna get some of the testing done here on the Hulk. Let's see, check it out. So I got the reef bot, it's all set up. It's very easy and I'm just gonna show you and go through a few of the things. Um, I would see if you hear up on my screen, I have everything that's uh, programmed to the reef plot. So right now, because I'm going to be starting my, uh, my cycle on my tank, I have my nitrate, nitrate, and ammonia. And um, what I learned too, if you see this little clip right here, I end up, I had to run down to Big Owls because those sulfur test kits are not all compatible with the reef bot. So we are looking for the API test kit. There we go, so we'll pick this one up. The only sulfur one that's compatible with the reef bot right now is the elk, the alkalinity. So I had to switch gears. You guys saw my video where we started. I had the sulfur test kits. Well, I'm only human. I should have did a little bit more research and we can only use certain ones. And I have the list of them. And the other thing as well, so I got API. Let me say, I got API um, for uh, my ammonia. And I end up, I have uh, the nitrate, I got, the the Elos uh, test kit. So I end up using that one for tube number five because the only thing these things can use is liquid. And if you have one with a powder that needs to mix in, it's not gonna happen, guys. Yeah. And we're using uh, Elos for nitrate. So that's how it is. So you're gonna, I got eight tubes on here. I still gonna put a few more in. Um, for the Pax Bellum, we're gonna be watching like the PO4 and stuff like that. So I'm gonna program that one in there for them so they can get collect all their data. But I just wanna show you how easy that is right all your uh, testing and that's how everything's gonna load up on your on your phone and then it shows like how much you're uh, refilling and test your calibration for your RO your waste and you just hit everything all manually so that's what's on the app okay so let's go so the power supply like I said I have it hidden here so it comes out the side here I hit it in my wire management it comes up through and I put it in slot of the apex so I control it make sure it's on and off just so I know that it's it's working, so it shows up on the, the apex. So let's move down here and let's look at the reef bot itself. So when you see the blue lights, everything's online with the Wi-Fi. It's very easy to set up. Like I said, you get like the full instructions, everything on here, and you just you just follow what they say, and it works out really well. Just follow along, to get the app at the stores, the Google Play, and Apple, then you're good to go. So moving forward here, like I said, it has the acrylic front on it. Just open this up, pull that off. We'll set that to the side. So there's my vials. Like I said, they come with the little uh, sticker on them. So this is Elos, we've got the nitrate, we've got the ammonia from API. So ammonia has two part 
solution, so you have to put solution one and solution two, and same with the nitrate, you have solution one and solution two. So when you program these into your app, it'll ask you, so this one here, slot one through eight, so one, you'll say slot, uh, solution one, you program that into your app, so it knows which one this is, and same with number two, you program that one into your app and tell you what that is, and then you name them, and so you just label them so you know, and you fill them up, and these are all 20 mil, so it'll keep track of how much is used per test, so it's pretty simple and like very accurate. So when I start uh, adding the Fritz uh, turbo start to the tank and we're gonna start giving it an ammonia source, we're gonna be able to track and make sure when the cycle is complete by using this uh, machine. And that is my plan today. So I just wanted to show you how this all works. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you here. So see out the side, I end up we got some colored lines uh, from uh, Cobalt Aquatics. They're pretty cool, so I went with the same color uh, right here. This is a little filter. This one, this is the tank water coming from the tank, and they have a little pre-filter on it. You can open it and clean at any time, so no debris or fish food or anything can get into the tank. And then you have your wastewater and RODI. The RODI cleans all the vials in the syringe, because everything in here, after it's done each test, it cleans out everything, so there's gonna be no interference on the tests. And what I did, nothing too fancy, but underneath the cabinetry here, I got just two pails. I got this one's my RODI water, and this one's my wastewater. So every time it cleans it, it throws out the wastewater and sucks up the new RODI water. So it's pretty simple. I just uh, I just got a drill, drilled down through the through the cabinetry, and loaded that right up. So that's pretty easy. So let's try to see if I can show you how we can try to test something. So let's to see test nitrate. So let's hit that one, it's gonna go through it. So we just hit perform test and it's telling me right now it's gonna perform the test. It's going through the motions. So now the lights are turning green. So the Hulk's eyes are getting green, we could say. So let's see what's gonna happen here. What I'm doing is I'm gonna try doing my tests while I'm sleeping because it does take a while to perform these tests and you don't wanna be just sitting around. Some tests could take maybe, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes to perform each test. So, it, so it's got all the information from the app and sent it across. So here we go. Now the robot's moving. You can see the little magnets jumping. So it's actually doing it one more time. So that's gonna be three times. It's making sure it's rinsed perfectly. So now it's moving back across. It's gonna pick the desired test that we're doing. So right now what it's doing, you see the magnet, it's spinning the solution, cause you know when solutions are just sitting around, things can settle. So it automatically does that, like if we were to shake up the vial and make sure it's ready for testing. So it's doing the same thing. So it's doing every process a human would do. So that is pretty neat. But now it's gonna take the sample So it knows it's already programmed, know how much it's supposed to take. So now it's going to add solution number one to the main vial for testing. So that's a little bit of information on the reef bot that we're just set up here. So stay tuned. We're going to have some more uh, reviews on how this is working on my system by tracking all the progress. And the same um, work with uh, Pax Bellum with their uh, macro algae reactor. So they are going to be watching how the graphs go by testing PO4 and everything that's going in our tank because the Pax Bellum is going to be for my nutrient export. Pretty much that's all that's going to be running on the Hulk. So we are even going to be watching the results firsthand and they're getting all the information that's coming into the reef bot directly right to them. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. I greatly appreciate it. So stay tuned. There'll be more information coming up on the reef bot and uh, how it's all working out. So if you guys could hit that little bell up in the corner, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you can hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. So please subscribe and hit that like button.